What's going on guys? Welcome to another tutorial in Adobe After Effects CC. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a text animation and then import it into Premiere Pro Project. And it's not just going to be any text animation. We're going to use 3D. The reason why I want to do this is because a lot of people have been asking me about text animation in Premiere Pro and After Effects. What happens is a lot of people use Premiere Pro and then they're trying to animate text and they're seeing the limited capabilities of Premiere Pro. So let's start off by just looking at After Effects here and this is going to be very simple and we'll start off by creating our own animation and we'll also select composition new composition once we have the composition here I'm gonna call this Adobe easy and we're gonna type in some text with the text tool so we have the text here and what we're gonna do is select window and I'm gonna open up the effects and presets panel the effects and presets panel if you don't know allows us to animate text and what we're also going to do is make this a 3d layer we have this 3d box i'm going to select that and then we have geometry options so we have a bevel depth of four that i'm going to set and the extrusion depth i'm going to set at 15. now again you can change this once we start adding some lights in the camera to this 3d text now what we're going to do is create some layers and we're going to apply some lighting to the text that way we know it's 3d for the first layer, light one, right now it's set at spot, and I'm gonna select ambient. Then we're gonna select okay. And then we're gonna select layer, new, and select light again. Then right here, we're gonna select point. And this time around, we can change the intensity of the light if we want to. So right there, we're set at 81, I increase it to 84. It's about the way I want it to be. And we're gonna select okay. Then we're gonna select layer, new, and then select light again. And this time, we're gonna select the spotlight. For the spotlight, I'm going to lower the intensity a bit, select 65, and we can leave the other settings as it is. Select OK. Now we have this kind of cool, interesting text here. We can lessen the intensity if we want to or increase it. But the important thing here is that I'm going to select one more layer. I'm going to layer new and I'm going to select camera. This time around, I'm going to select this camera layer, and that's going to allow us to move the text around so we know it's 3D. Select OK. And then what we can do here is start rotating the text. Again, this is so we know that it's 3D. We're going to select the rotation tool. So you can see the extrusion depth is not that much. We can start increasing that extrusion depth, and then you can see the 3D even more. And then as I rotate this, you can definitely tell that's 3D text. Now what I'm going to do is put it at an angle here. And likewise, I think I'm going to change the color of this text. So let's just change the color here. Right now it's set at purple. I think I'm going to make it like a darker purple there. And then just select an angle that I want to have the text at. And by the way, when we're working with After Effects, if you're working with 3D, I just want to show you guys this. I had Ray Trace 3D on. If you go to Options, again, if you see some of my other tutorials where I talk about 3D animation, editing text, we have to make sure that we have some anti-aliasing so it smooths out the text. And not only that, you can increase the quality of the text. So this is something that you can change once you're done working. What Ray Trace 3D allows you to do is work with the text in a fast way. Again, these applications use a lot of resources and that Ray Trace 3D is going to allow you to work much quicker in After Effects. Then when we see these animation presets, you'll notice there's another folder specifically for text. You even have yet another folder for 3D text. So these are some special presets that After Effects has where it's specifically for 3D text that you create. And we can select a variety of them. I'm going to select a 3D bouncing and centered and we'll see what that looks like. And let me press spacebar. And what I'm doing here is rendering the text. Now, if you notice already, even slow motion as After Effects is animating this 3D text, you can even see the 3D text as it's spinning around. It's really cool animation. So now this is rendered, I'm going to press spacebar again so we can see what it looks like. And that's pretty cool for a preset in After Effects. I'm going to press Command Z, Command Z again, and we're going to select another animation here. Let's select one more animation and see what this looks like. 3D fluttering from the left. So if you notice, I have the Premiere Pro application, but what we're going to do is close out this panel because we don't need the effects panel anymore. We have a project panel here, and this is the composition, Adobe Easy. So as you see here, we have the project panel open in Premiere Pro. If you don't have that open, you go Window and then select Project. Then we're going to select After Effects, and we're going to select this composition layer here, and then bring it into the project panel in Premiere Pro. Now what we can do is take this composition from After Effects, and we can bring it onto the timeline. 
So the whole point of this tutorial is overlaying 3D text onto video. So the intro video is right there and I have my text overlaid on it. And now that you see that I'm moving along the timeline, now it looks pretty much normal. So that's pretty much it. That's how you import 3D text from After Effects into Premiere Pro CC. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out.